Okay, so first I'm starting off with foundation and I'm using NARS's Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. And I'm just going to start off by dotting that around my face and then buffing it in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Just one kiss, there's nothing out there that you don't eclipse. Could someone so perfect like you exist? To cover up any imperfections, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and I'm just applying that underneath the eyes and on any blemishes I may have. To set my makeup, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder just to ensure my makeup stays on all night. And then to give myself a bronze glow, I'm using NARS's Laguna Bronzer. And I'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks and my temples. I'm then going to take a smaller brush and then just contour my cheekbones with that same bronzer. Next I'm taking the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in the colour Flushed. To add some shimmer and a little bit of a glow I'm using Max Moonrise Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. Taking the Sleek Storm palette and these two matte colours, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Next I'm going to prime my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm just applying that to the lids of my eyes and also on my lower lash line. Next taking the Collection 2000 Pop Plastic Palette and the Matte Neon Pink. With a fluffy brush I'm just going to apply that to my crease and blend it upwards. And then I'm going to really make sure I blend that out because this look is all about kind of applying and blending and vice versa. Next I'm taking the Sleek Palette in Ultra Matte's V2 and then I'm just taking the Matte White and applying that to the inner corners of my eyes. Next with this matte purple, I'm just going to apply that to the outer half of my eyes. Then I'm just making sure I blend that out really well. And then I'm just going to bring that purple and blend it into the center of my lids. Next with that same purple, I'm just going to apply that with a pencil brush to the lower lash line. And then with this sapphire colour, I'm just going to take that and apply it to the outer V of my eye. And then once again, I'm just going to really blend that in. And because we've used all matte colours so far, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer with the BM Beauty Mineral Eyeshadow in Wolf Howl. And I'm just going to apply that to the centre of my lids and then blend that out. Next with a black eyeliner, I'm just going to line my tight line and on the outer half of the lower lash line. Next with a small angled brush, I'm just going to blend out that black eyeliner. Next I'm going to do some wing liner with an angled brush and a black gel liner. And if you don't know how to do wing liner, I've got a whole video on it, so I'll link that down below. Next I'm going to apply a coat of the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. Next I'm applying false lashes and these are the ones that I got from Primark for a pound and I just snipped them in half to make them demi lashes. And whilst waiting for that glue to get tacky I'm just using a highlight to my brow bone. This is Nylon by MAC. Once the glue on the lashes has become tacky, I'm just going to apply them to the outer half of my lash line. Time, 
Next to add some more sparkle to the eyes, I'm using the Gosh Glitter Eyeliner in 18 and this isn't the best glitter eyeliner or just glitter um, but it's the only one I had at the time. Next I'm showing you two options for lips, firstly is a nude pink lip and I'm using Angel by MAC and topping it off with a pink sparkly lip gloss. This is just a more kind of neutral um, lip you can go for or if you're like me then you prefer something a bit more kind of colourful. First I'm applying concealer just so the lipstick doesn't bleed and then I'm just manning my lips with a nude liner. And then I'm just going to top the whole look off with my favourite lipstick at the moment which is Plumful by MAC and I just think this tops the whole look off and I think this pinky plummy colour really complements the eyes. So that is it for this New Year's look, I hope you enjoy and try it out yourself. I hope you all have an amazing and safe New Year's and I will see you in 2013. Bye guys!